in a world of boring talk, misinformation, and mindless chat, two superheroes emerge from the asses and, and ashes. Ben, is this asses or ashes? Bring the action. Happy hour with Ben and Alexander. Pull up a chair. Raise a glass. Enjoy it in the chat. <laughs> it's talk radio with jazz hands. Oh, my God. You had to say that. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we're back. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what's going on, my friend? Oh my god. This show is going to blow my mind. Uh, you say, so, yeah. Yep. Tell us what's up. It's the best of TV. Is really, it? it is. Is it? So, you know, Fox premiered American Horror Story. Yes, it did. The highest. Uh, ratings that they ever had. Did for you, a, did you a, just FX pull that out of your rear end? No, it or really that's is. That's for true. Okay. So all right, high that all right. immediately they said, "Oh, season five. Like we didn't know. That right away. Yeah. American Green Horror Lang. Story. Happy hour. But no Lang. <laughs> <laughs> we sh- oh no Lang. Oh. 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 We could be the new Langs. <laughs> Yo. Ooh. Ooh. Um. So. You know, then we had to. Oh, so Naomi Grossman, who yes, played yes, Pepper, yes, 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 yes. She Sorry. played it in Asylum, and now she's a back from Freak Show. So I was like, Oh God, who, who, who to have? She's well, on location right now, right? Yes, yeah, she's yeah. calling us from <laughs> New Orleans, where they're still filming, she, and she's still reading the scripts as they come in. That's so kinda, she doesn't I, even know what's gonna happen. Right on. That's that's intense. That is intense. Especially so, if you watch the, if you watch the first episode. Yeah, yeah, Holy like, shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, and we got to see episode two. Yes, we boom, did. boom! That's how you do it in LA. I guess <laughs> something like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up, step right up! The boys of Happy Hour are taking you live on location! Down in the Big Easy! She put the crazy in asylum and the freaking freak show! Actress! Wow, what an introduction. Hello. What's going on? Thank you so much for calling in. Hey, girl. (laughs) You guys sound like you're on Bourbon Street or something right now. What's going on? Honey, I was born on Bourbon Street. (laughs) (laughs) Or at least conceived. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Awesome. Um, How are you doing, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Number Five on IMDb? What is that about? It's insane. Yeah, that is pretty incredible, right? Well, here's the thing. Number one, everybody's in love with American Horror Story, the highest rating FX has received. Congratulations for that, by the way. And, and then you go to the premiere dressed in the sexiness Girl. That, it, that was your dress. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, who, <laughs> who designed that dress? Oh, God. Um, the designer's name is Natalia Sedner. She's a up-and-coming couture designer. Um, and, yeah, I, you know, I knew I was going to have some competition up there with, uh, you know, two, fit, two feet tall women and seven <laughs> feet tall women. And, you know, I had to do something to stand out. So. <laughs> well, and, you know, it, it brought you such attention. Even Jessica Lang said hello to you on the red carpet. <laughs> oh. Well, of course. <laughs> Because I wasn't hogging it up. Oh, like, there you go. Yes. 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 I love you. I love you. I love you, Naomi. All right. I mean, at least I'm on the show, you know? Yes. yes. <laughs> but hey, so, you know, Naomi, I don't mean to hate. I don't no, no, hate. not at all. No, no, no. But you can't blame She's mm. Queen B. Yes, it's ma'am. She's carpet. a supreme. Damn uh, it. Move Taco, over. I, yes, yes. Taco Bell named a burrito yeah. after her. It's called the Burrito Supreme. <laughs> Oh, what? I'm that. What was that? No, I, I said Taco Bell named uh, a burrito after Jessica Lang, the Supreme. <laughs> he tried to make a joke and it fell flat. So don't worry about missing. Oh, it. <laughs> oh, I don't dine there. I, oh, honey, <laughs> nobody dines there. People just go there. <laughs> That's true. It's not really a verb. But they don't go together. Uh, touche. <laughs> touche. So you you are literally calling us from. From Bourbon Street, actually. That's why I wondered. I like, where are you? Where are you at? Uh, no shit. Come no, on I'm not oh. on Bourbon Street, but I am in New Orleans. I'm, uh, I'm calling from an outdoor cafe because it just happens to be where I am at the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. What? what I'm. Uh, you know, we're still in the middle of shooting, so uh, you know, I work tomorrow. Caught me on a day I wasn't. So what perfect. has this season been like for you? I mean, just coming back down in New Orleans. What's the whole vibe down like down there? Gosh, um, you know, it's very different than Asylum because it's like we're living it. You know, we, right. uh, 
you know, asylum, I kind of, I don't want to say punch in and punch out because it's not, it's not that kind of job. But right. at the same time, I would go back to my regular life at night. And I don't, I, you know, my life is this show at this point here. <laughs> we, uh, we all work together and then we all essentially live together. You know, we're, we're it's kind of like a, a dorm, you know, right on uh, the hotel. <laughs> it's not uncommon to, you know, walk downstairs and, you know, there's Gabby or there's, uh, you know, Amazon Eve on the computer or That's making awesome. a call or, you know, so it's, uh, uh, there's no escaping. We're in a good way though. It's we're each other's coworkers and social life and, you know, you name it. So it's like a complete experience. That's incredible. Um, hard to even differentiate work from, from play really. <laughs> I love that. That is fantastic. Well, ex except for the hours. Although we work really hard and we also play really hard. <laughs> you so. have to, you're in the big easy, baby. So, Absolutely, yeah. Nothing's, you know, you don't do anything halfway around here. <laughs> so last last week's premiere was huge. I mean, American Horror Story now has has more viewers than it's ever had. So what what episode are you guys filming? If if uh, if episode two is premiering tomorrow, where are you in the scheme of episodes? We're literally like shooting uh, six, seven, and eight tomorrow. That's so, so holy crazy. Moly. Just to give you an idea, like we really have. No idea. Oh, I shouldn't say we have no idea. That's not fair for me to speak. Pepper has no <laughs> freaking clue. Uh, I think that's pretty easy to uh, say. No, but I mean, you know, we've got pickups of one and uh, full scenes of others. and um, But, yeah, it's not con uncommon for us to work with several different directors in a given day. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, and, you know, uh, the writers are working on 9, 10, 11. So, you know, and the right. editors are working on 3, 4, and 5. So, you oh, know, we're, it's all a process. We're all, um, you know, hard at work. A very well-oiled <laughs> machine. That's so um, organic. Oh, yeah. that, that's so organic because usually they film something and they, they work on it, put it in the can, and they kind of, you know, work more in the marketing. This is such an organic living thing, like where you're kind of excited. Now, do you get a full script for the episode or you just get your part so that you don't, you know? I do. That's been another change from Asylum. Asylum, I was truly, I mean, I was a complete pinhead the <laughs> entire time. I didn't, I never saw a, a full script. Oh, wow. Um, I only saw the sides that I was in this time, you know, I've been, um, uh, graded to full scripts, which is nice to kind of have a feel for what's going on in the show. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it is truly like a working organism as we go, like, which is really exciting. And it, I mean, especially exciting, I would think for audience members to know that, you know, if you love Pepper, your voices will be heard. And, you know, not only for, you know, a, a season or two from now kind of thing, which is obviously what happened, but also, you know, uh, for all we know, they'll, you know, pepper more pepper in later on in the season if, if you know, if, uh, if, if, you know, if the audience pleases. So, again, I'm not trying to drop hints. I'm just saying, like, this, this season has not been... You know, it's still we're working on it. So it's just if people like something, they should let producers know. Uh, you know, if they don't like something, then well, we should let them know that. Unless it's about Pepper, and then they should shut up. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Keep your mouth shut Na if you don't like it, right? Na Naomi, I have a really good idea. I think uh, later in the season we should be introduced to Pepper's uh, Mexican cousin named Jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I, I, that is so funny. That'd be awesome. Me and Jessica <laughs> Lang and Pepper, Jalapeno Pepper and Jessica Lang. I'm seeing it. Th that's it, right? <laughs> Let's get Ryan Murphy I on love the phone. It. And maybe her Indian cousin, Cumin. Yeah. <laughs> or Curry. And, uh, oh, and I, I'm Pepper seeing it. <laughs> So Na Naomi, you 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 come from uh, from a stage and kind of a comedy improv kind of background. Uh, mm -hmm. let, let's kind of take a flashback. When did you get the call? And when you found out about the character? Now this was an asylum. What mm -hmm. what were your first reactions? Is what? I mean, I didn't even know what the role was. They didn't they didn't even let on. You know, they never said him sounds pin. You know. Because let's face it, those big break breakdowns go out to every agent and manager and lawyer and actor in Hollywood and beyond. <laughs> and if 
you know, it, it gets, if the word gets out that they're cast in a pinhead, you know, jig is up. And this show is so under uh, lock and key. They they won't even let, on, let that on. Um, so, you know, it wasn't even until I was cast and, like, had signed contracts <laughs> that they even told me what I was doing. So oh, wow. honestly, when I first got the call, I didn't even know. I figured this was another, you know, nurse number two to the left type role, <laughs> you know, and that I was going to go in and say, supple doctor, like I always do, and then not get cast because that's just not the kind of actor I am. Right. Um, so, yeah, I this was kind of at a, you know, developmental level at, at, at that time. And, um, you know, they just don't entrust roles this juicy in actors at that level. So I, uh, yeah, I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> well, and, you know, we got to see the character in Asylum. You know, you kind of came in at the beginning, and then you come in in this huge, powerful part where we see Pepper being able to, to talk and kind of orchestrate what was going on. Mm -hmm. The audience has mm -hmm. responded to your character. I remember when Asylum first came out, one of the few things that went viral was your Pepper character. You know, there's a fascination mm -hmm. of your makeup process yeah, because you're that's gotta gorgeous. Be intense. What, what is that makeup <laughs> process like for you? I mean, how long does it actually take for you to get made up as Pepper? Um, it takes about two and a half to three hours. Wow. I wow. mean, it depends. I don't know if you caught on the internet, uh, this week, I posted a photo of, uh, actually my, um, freak orgy getup, which is of course a full prosthetic front. So not only yeah. did I have the, <laughs> the typical prosthetic nose, ears, brow, uh, you know, face, but also uh, like a, an entire torso. Oh my god! And it was like um, a manly torso. I was I was like Pepper's been going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a transformation. Yes. Um, yeah, but I mean, what you're talking, I agree. Like the makeup is really something, and yeah, for whatever reason, it 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 hit. But that is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like the audience having a say, and you know that like. Tools like Twitter and Facebook and IMDb and, you know, all of these, you know, newfangled tools that we have, you know, audiences are now involved in the process. We're not just sitting idly by watching, but um, you know, interacting with the creators and, um, and, and letting them know what we like. And that's really exciting. You know, they're listening. It truly is. It truly is. Yeah. So I, I also so, know. Uh, yeah. So that's why. I mean, I I think they probably always had an. I think Ryan Murphy knows everything all the time. I think time. you're right. He knows exactly like, he knows what, what he's, he's doing. He's doing <laughs> nine seasons from now, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, I do think that a lot of you know my comebacks. That is, uh, uh, not just this season and freak show, but also back to the asylum from you know my alien. Uh, invasion <laughs> that is off you know a lot of that is attributed to the fan um the, the fans speaking out so well, I think it's also, and Ryan Murphy's going to be working on the season with Jalapeno Pepper, and Ben can play uh, go Pepperoni. Goomba. Oh my God, Pepperoni, Pepper, and I mean, it's done. At it's some point, I have to move on. I'm not saying yeah, that's happening right now. Absolutely. Like I am enjoying, you know, God love me, Pepper. I wouldn't be here without her. But at the same time, like. <laughs> I, I go to these, you know, autograph shows and whatnot at these, you know, these horror conventions, uh -huh. and God help me, I do not want to be signing pepper pictures 40 years from now. <laughs> let's, let's just not let that happen, okay? Will that. you please, like, call me if, I, if, if I'm ever doing that? <laughs> of <laughs> course we will. Just remind me that I wouldn't. Of course we will. <laughs> and actually, we've got a question from our chat room right now. Um, we have a question, oh, question from the chat roll. Do you feel like you are becoming more well-rounded of an actor because of this role? More diverse, more depth, more tools under your belt? Yes. Um, if anything, I mean, in a way, I am, you know, reprising the role. So it's not like I'm doing a whole lot different this season. You know, if anything, my job is to stay consistent. Like, right. it wouldn't make sense if all of a sudden, like, Pepper the whole new per person, you know. <laughs> right. Let's face it, how different are you now than you were 12 years ago? Like, you know what I mean? We all evolve, but at the end of the day, we're the same person. Well, so but, well, I can't I can't stretch that many, you know, new acting muscles, but I will say I am 
I, it's like every day is an acting master class. Right. Like I, I'm on there on set and it's just a workout. Um, well, you know, and, whether right. it's working with, you know, acting alongside these like bomb, you know, uh, Emmy, Emmy winners and nominees to, uh, to just, you know, even my time offset, sitting there just watching. It's uh, it's all an education. So, yes, I am absolutely growing through this experience. I have to say the show is probably one of the strongest ensembles on, on television, but we are seeing Pepper about 10 years before Asylum, correct? Right. Right, yeah, yeah. We do have another question from uh, the room. Are you surprised by the fans' reactions? Yes. Yes. I mean, again, like, I, I, I never, I, I had never thought that this was, that, that this is what this was going to become. You know what I mean? Right. I was surprised to have, you know, more than a couple syllables in asylum, you know, <laughs> and then to, to have, for then it to become, you know, tattoos on hand legs and uh, pepper for president posters around town. And then, you know, my IMDB at number five, like what the f? Like what is next? <laughs> I mean, even just the fact that I'm here is kind of insane. Like they, they managed to make this massive exception. You know, they said they'd never bring a character back. They, that it was these yep. episodes, you know, these seasons were all in, inclusive, and yet, you know, I, I Pepper even broke that rule. So, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm starting to stop being surprised because it's like, you know, I don't know. Maybe Pepper will become president. I mean, why not? <laughs> well, the Republicans need somebody <laughs> at this point. I don't know if Pepper I wants remember. to go to the Republicans. <laughs> Pepper for president. Oh, that's a whole different conversation all together, right? Yeah, they may need to recap, but that's <laughs> a whole other conversation. <laughs> I, I have to tell our listeners, you have to go to naomigrossman.net. Mm-hmm. Your website is so fun because you put up uh, your theater projects. Um, you've been so, mm-hmm. you got you have sold out shows with your uh, self-written and produced uh, one-woman shows. Um, but you have mm-hmm. you, you have Pepper fun things. You have a Pepper remix on there. It's a great uh, website to go to and, and check out everything Pepper and Naomi. Because she's a beautiful woman, <laughs> and you've done oh, actually, you, you've you know done what's very so cool much. about that website? Uh, the woman who designed it is the same designer of my dress. Oh, um, right on. Um, yeah. So what's her phone number? Quit, right. <laughs> when she quit web designing to do fashion design, I was of course destroyed because <laughs> she did such a good job with my website, and of course it's this living, breathing entity, and I need, I desperately need someone to update it. Um, and I'm sad it's not her anymore, but at the same time, you know, good for her for moving on and doing bigger and better things. And I'm glad that, you know, I can support her in in that way. And she's able to support me too. You know, I love it. Naomi, we can't say thank you enough for taking the time out to call us this evening. Thank you so, so very much. What do you tell everyone where they can find you as well? Like on your Twitter and whatnot. Ah, uh, sure. My Twitter is uh, Naomi W. Grossman. Um, uh, let's see. I'm verified, so, um, if, you know, go see the check mark and know it's me. <laughs> uh, I've got my um, Facebook like page, of course, uh, which is just Naomi Grossman. Uh, let's see what else. I got my YouTube. People can watch all my yeah cookie videos and subscribe to me there. <laughs> oh, and I, um, I I'm on Instagram. Say... I think it's also just Naomi W. Grossman. And like, like you said, my website, I, I've, um, you know, that's a, kind of the comprehensive um, place where you can find anything and everything Naomi Grossman. Well, I, I, I just have to put on there on YouTube, uh, it's actually Red Meat Entertainment because you do a lot of your short comedy clips, which you see Naomi in a whole different <laughs> light. It's hilarious. Go on YouTube and look up Red Meat Entertainment. Now, when you come back to L.A., will you come visit us live? Okay, yeah, you've got to come into the studio with us. I would love to. Yay! Awesome. Done and done. Done and done. Well, best best of luck on the continuation of the filming, and we cannot wait to see what's coming. American Horror Story Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. on FX. Thank you so much, Naomi. Thank you. We love you. All right, we'll talk soon. All right, bye-bye. Happy